Hey fellas, very first delivery from Reef Rat, uh, vehicle detailing supplies down in uh, Western Australia, I believe at the moment. Uh, got a few goodies in here, but we just want to quickly open up and have a look around. I'm really excited to see the ultra bright LED inspection lamp, but we'll see how that goes first. Um, yeah, this uh, this ultimate crazy microfiber tower looks pretty interesting. Uh, I believe it's Korean fibers, and this size is 60 by 40 of pure goodness. I would use it. Let's just open it and have a look. It's going to be hard with one hand, but let's just figure this out. I'm just going to have to pause the video and come back. Alright, so I've opened the package up. Uh, it was a lot easier to do than I thought, even with one hand. But anyway, back to it. Uh, yeah, it looks like a polishing towel. It's very... Yeah, it's not too dense, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I might be using this tomorrow. It's got a little... Oh, it's got awesome little tags where it's just simply release. It doesn't leave that little bit behind. So it's like a little sticky tab. Um, so it doesn't, yeah, actually leave any little bits behind that could cause damage while wiping polish away. Crazy microfiber, it's called. Uh, let's focus. Oh, no, it's not going to focus on me. Uh... I'm not sure if you can see that or read it, but it says Ultimate Crazy 100% microfiber, which is made up of 80% polyester, 20% polyamide, and it's made in China. Uh, but from my understanding is it's Korean fiber, uh, but anyway, I've got to double check on that. Got a few keychains in here, definitely ask for free keychains, um, the art of shine. Pretty cool, make the most of that. And now the exciting stuff, the ultra bright LED inspection lamp. I've been waiting for this for ages, but anyway, let's get into it. I really should have found myself a stand before I started recording this, but anyway. The unboxing of it. We've got instruction manual. Yeah, yawn. It's got a fair bit of weight to it. Pretty cool, very similar to the scan group ones. Really got to learn to stop recording um, reviews on my mobile phone because people just seem to want to call it the perfect timing. Anyway, so we've opened this up. It's by SGCB, Professional Treatment, Clean and Glossy, it claims to be. Um, looks pretty cool. Let's read some specs on it. It says, Ultra Bright LED Inspection Lamp, Battery Power 7.4, Lithium Ion Battery with 1300 milliamps hour. Power is 5 watts. Okay, that's pretty cool out of a small uh, unit. Lumen is 400 uh, on high and 180 on low with a working time of 2 hours and 4 hours respectively and colour temperature is 4000K so that's pretty cool uh, model number SGGF061 uh, what I like about it, it comes with a, an Australian equipped uh, charger uh, so I don't need another adapter to go on it and pretty universal fitting ok, that's pretty cool, so you've got like a little hook up here uh, I'm not sure, here, yeah, there we go uh, which you can use it as a hook, I guess, if you want to hook it up somewhere. Uh, also a little stand. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, now, okay, it's definitely bright. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see. No, I'm definitely going to have to take this outside. I don't have any paint at the moment to show, but that's on low. Um, off. So it's on bright. That is actually really, really good for a handheld light. Uh, so that's on 400, what is that, 400 lumens, did it say? Uh, yes. That's really good for a handheld light. That's really impressive. I'm going to have to take this outside to have a look at a vehicle and take it from there. But from what I can see, just from there, that's pretty cool. So that's the 400 lumen. And then when we go down to, we push it again, it goes down to 180 lumen. So obviously it makes it a lot more user-friendly or easy on the eyes I guess and still shows a lot of defects in there hard to tell with this um with the cardboard there but that's that's pretty cool anyway guys so I can't remember how much I purchased this for but I believe it was under 100 bucks and that's that's pretty impressive 
um, for a handheld like that, it certainly feels heavy, built well. It's metal, it's not just a piece of plastic. Um, it's also got this cool rubber grip around here. Uh, so if you do drop it, it does give you some type of safety. Being the first time I'm using it, I'll definitely get back to you guys with how long it actually lasts. But I don't see why it wouldn't last anywhere from two to four hours. And I'm not too sure if you would use it continuously, but I guess because of the stand, um, you could just sit it around and yeah point it out a car i guess and, and that'll be pretty cool as well um but yeah definitely get back to you guys with a few other fancy especially pads and stuff that i've purchased uh from refrag okay so we made it outside just having a look at the sjcb uh handheld light again and uh, there we go we've got on a 400 lumens uh so what i'm doing is just about half a meter away from the panel i guess Oh, I'm not too sure if this camera is going to pick it up, but yeah, you can definitely see a little reef. Oh, look at that. Yep, a little water spotting. Uh, hard to tell with swirl marks. Can't really see swirl marks on this, on this camera, but they're definitely showing up on the... In the uh, yeah, you can definitely see them in my eyes. Oh, with my eyes, sorry, but on the camera you can't see them. Not so much. Uh, but you can definitely see all the water spotting. What do I think of this light? This light is freaking impressive for what it is um, and I think it's definitely going to go in my arsenal of daily use products uh, especially the ease of use the the weight of it uh, and just the power of the light pretty cool uh, I'll try and take another vision of how bright it is just to give you a better understanding of uh, I'll try and find the darkest place out here uh, and that way we'll take it from there and now we're outside in my backyard, uh, just to show you how it's pretty dark out here. I mean, it is about, I don't know, 7, 8 p.m. in Melbourne time in winter, so it's pretty much pitch black. Um, now to show you, I'm just turning it on to the 400 lumens. I mean, I've, it's hard to tell, but I've got it in front of me. Uh, once again, yeah, now this is probably only half charged as well, but I can't even find the button. There we go. Okay, so... There we go, so that's the 400 lumens. You can definitely see how bright that is. Um, and the 180 lumens. What I'd also like to mention is that it's got a little rubber grip where the power button is. Uh, kind of cool, feels nice. Quality wise, it's, it certainly seems like it's built sturdy. Uh, back again, back to pitch black. Let's allow for the camera to adjust and I'll put on to 400 lumens again. This is just showing you exactly how bright uh, we can get from a little handheld. Now that's that's really impressive. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'll definitely be using this on a uh, daily basis that's for sure uh, the amount of swells that it picks up is pretty impressive uh, even though I might not be able to show it on the camera but